Hi, uh, hi guys. I'm discussing with you all another problem from Newton physics from the chapter of electrostatics. And the question says two similarly and equally charged identical metallic spheres A and B repel each other with a force of 2 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Newton. A third identical uncharged sphere C is touched with A and then placed at the midpoint between A and B. What is the net electric force on C? So I have to find out the net electric force on metallic sphere C which is placed in between A and B. So here you can see I have taken a metallic sphere A having charge Q and another metallic sphere B having charge Q. These spheres are separated by from each other by a distance of x. Now as far as the question, the force of repulsion between the two spheres happens to be 2 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Newton. Now we know that the Coulomb's law states the force of attraction or repulsion between any two charged body and the force of attraction and repulsion between any two charged body is given by the formula f is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square now here q1 was equals to q q2 is equals to q so in this formula when i substitute 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q into q that becomes q square upon x square and this value and this force of repulsion happens to be 2 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Newton. Now a third charge comes into the picture. That third charge is first touched with A over here and then it is placed at the center. Now when the third charge metallic charge, uh, sorry, the third charge sphere comes and touch with, touches with A, then the total charge between them happens to be zero of the ch uncharged metallic sphere C and Q of the charge metallic charge sphere A. So the total charge happens to be zero plus Q or that equals to Q and then you separate them apart. Now when you separate them apart, the total charge 0 plus Q that is Q gets redistributed equally between the two metallic spheres. So the metallic sphere A also gets Q by 2 and metallic sphere C also gets Q by 2. Both the spheres carries this equal or gets shared, get charges equally. They share the equal charges as they are identical. Now, this metallic sphere is now placed in between A and in between B, in between A and B. So this is the place where the metallic sphere C is placed. Now, A is going to repel metallic sphere C as they are light charges and metallic sphere B is also going to repel C because they are also like charges. Here also the charge is positive and here also the charge is positive though the magnitude differs. So what I need to do, I now need to find out the total force experienced by C. Now the force as experienced by C due to A or you can say force applied by A on C. Let me call that force as F1 the force of repulsion. Now this happens to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Charge of A that is Q by 2. Charge of C that is again Q by 2. So Q by 2 into Q by 2 is Q by 2 whole square divided by the distance of separation between A and C and that happens to be X by 2 ka whole square. So substituting and solving it out I get a result of F 1 has a value of 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square by x square and the direction happens towards the i cap or the positive x axis.
now let's find out the force as applied by b on c and i am calling this force as f2 so what was the charge of c that was q by 2 what was the charge of b that was q using the coulomb's law f2 will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught charge of b that is q and charge of c that is q by 2 upon or divided by the distance of separation between them and that distance of separation happens to be x by 2 ka whole square rearranging and solving it out 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square by 2 divided by x square by 4 and then I get f2 equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 q square upon x square and this force remember it was directed towards the left or minus i cap now since both the forces are at an angle of 180 degree the net force can be find out by the difference of these two forces so I'm going to subtract the two together from the bigger force I'm going to subtract the smaller force the bigger force happens to be f2 so it will be f2 minus f1 substituting the value 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 q square upon x square minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square by x square and I get a result of 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square by x square and this value was 2 into 10 to the power of minus 5. Thank you.